guys, so today I am doing a foundation review for you guys. One of my favorite things to film and share with you on my channel here. So if you want to check out any of my past foundation routines, I'm going to go ahead and link some of my more recent ones down below. But today I am talking about the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. So I'm going to do a demo in this video as well as talk about how I feel about this foundation and things like that and just basic information. So yeah, if you want to learn about this guy, if you wanted to try him out, go ahead and keep watching. So this foundation comes in 12 shades. It is supposed to last up to 24 hours, have a demi matte finish, so not quite fully matte, and it's supposed to be air light and oil free. So according to their website, it comes in 12 shades that you can order and it retails for about $13. I have worn this foundation for about three days now and I have formed some pretty strong opinions about this foundation. But before we get into that, I do want to demo putting it on my face today. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that now. So before I start this demo, let me just say I am using the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. I always use this primer, but for this review's sake, I can say that I'm pretty sure this foundation works just as well without any kind of primer. I just like having a little bit of extra protection and a little more longevity with any kind of product that I'm using. Infallible Pro Match. I am using shade 103 Natural Buff. I'm going to squirt it right on to the top of my brush, which is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I use this in all of my reviews or first impressions of foundations, so that way it's fairly the same. And this is a really thick foundation, so I'm going to put a, like a tiny pea-sized amount on there for now. I'm going to show you guys that this foundation does not go a super long way. It's a very thick, almost like moussey, jello-y, not jello-y, like pudding material, or not material. It kind of has like a pudding thickness to it. That's really weird to say, but it's not watery whatsoever. So that little amount probably won't go far or more than this one section of my face. Like I can't really spread it out more than I just did right there. And that's kind of a lot of foundation to use. Normally when I use a foundation, um, like one to two pumps can cover my whole face, which maybe says that I have a small face, but um, I think this foundation, it dries really quickly, so that might be part of the reason why. Blending it down my neck a little bit. You guys can see it's a really, really good match. That is one coat on the left side of my face. This side is definitely a lot more color corrected and I only put it on my cheek so far. And yeah, it has a very matte finish. Uh, you do have my freckles are showing through. And yeah, it's mainly just the color correction so far that I've noticed now. I'm going to apply a more hefty amount on there. So about this much. And I'm going to apply that to the other half of my face and to my forehead. So much more foundation that I'm working with now, but like I said, I've noticed that you really have to not be chintzy with this foundation. So it blends in really easily, really quickly. Now what I typically do is I'll run a beauty blender um, over my face just kind of to blend things out a little bit more and I use a beauty blender normally for my concealer. Uh, with this foundation, I have used it with a beauty blender and I don't love it. The Beauty Blender seems to um, kind of absorb some of the product. Again, I've said that I've had to use a lot of foundation already with this foundation, um, and that's with a brush absorbing basically nothing. So to use a Beauty Blender it just uses up way too much product for me to be comfortable with. I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup and then I will be back to talk to you guys about everything. But this is the coverage so far. You guys can tell all of the pigmentation is um, very evened out on my face. So the skin tone and my complexion is all even now. It does have fairly good coverage. Um, you could probably build it up and it's super lightweight and it has like basically a powder finish. It doesn't feel like any kind of foundation is wet on my face and this has been like 10 seconds. So now that the rest of my makeup is obviously on and I've started the video this way, I'm going to tell you guys about how I feel about this foundation. So in case that I haven't said it, I am shade 103 Natural Buff. 
I went into the store, picked out a foundation that I thought was kind of my shade, and it ended up being the perfect match for me. There are only 12 shades, so it's not super, super great, but it is still fairly nice for a drugstore foundation. And yeah, this is supposed to have a demi matte finish, last 24 hours, have medium coverage, and have an air light texture. Um, which is all on the back of the container. As for how this foundation looks on my skin, I do say that it has a matte finish. As I told you guys during the demo, you can still kind of see my freckles through the foundation. You can obviously still see my beauty mark, which is like the excellent test of all foundations. I wanna say that this is more matte than just demi matte. I mean, it's not like fully, like it doesn't look like suede on your face and that's kind of what matte foundation looks like. It's a very flattering finish if you don't want to look shiny. However, as far as it lasting that way throughout the day, I say that around the six hour mark you will start to see slight oils building up, but I don't feel oils around my mouth, which is where I kind of get the most scared when it comes to getting oily. Um, I don't like to feel like my face is oily and I don't necessarily get that with this foundation but you will need to powder throughout the day. It's not just gonna last 24 hours without any kind of wear. As for average wear, like just everyday kind of creasing and stuff like that, I will say that this foundation is not foolproof, which I was kind of um, disappointed with. It does definitely sink into lines that I get around my eyes. It gets into like the like crease lines in your forehead and um, I do, get like slight smile lines and keep in mind I'm 19 so if stuff is sinking into lines on me if you're older than me and you have more fine lines on your face um, just be mindful of that I don't normally have that problem I will add but I do with this foundation I do actually really like the coverage that being said it's just not super super long wearing um, like around areas that foundation might move on. As for the texture of this foundation, I will say that they are totally right in saying that this is an air light foundation. I don't feel this on my skin whatsoever when I'm wearing it. And that's pretty cool because this is like a really thick foundation. So you need a lot of it to actually apply to your face to get the kind of coverage that I would want from a medium coverage foundation, but it feels really light and it's really, really fast drying. So it has a really nice feel on your skin. You don't feel like you have a ton of makeup on. You don't feel like you have on any makeup at all, to be honest. The packaging is pretty dingy, but that does mean that it's really great as far as traveling goes, or if you wanna put this in your makeup bag, it is really nice. You get a full fluid ounce in here and yeah, I think that that is it. Overall, I give this foundation a seven out of 10 to an eight out of 10. I can't really decide in between there. I don't love that this guy does crease and settle into fine lines. I think that that is something that a foundation really shouldn't do and I don't really struggle with that in general. So I feel like most foundations do avoid that. But as far as the kind of effect that it gives your skin, the way that it wears on your skin, and the way that it holds up throughout the day, I will say that besides settling into lines, this foundation does do a really good job of staying in in place anywhere outside of my like under eye nose area. <laughs> Makeup applies really well on top of this foundation, so everything kind of blends out really nicely. I do think that this foundation is really great, but I can't give it a higher rating than a seven or an eight, but I do think that this is worth a try. I do think that you guys should probably go pick it up in your shade, especially coming up to the summer. I don't like to splurge too much on foundations because you're just not wearing as much makeup during the summer. So I'm gonna try and do a check-in so that way you guys can see how this wears later throughout the day. But in case if I don't, that is it. So I will see you guys in my next video. I hope that you guys like this review. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi guys, so I am back. Um, I ended up being able to film a little follow-up. So it is eight o'clock now. When I had filmed before, it was 12.30. So this makeup has been on for seven and a half hours. And I thought that I would just kind of run you guys through what it's looking like now. I'm gonna get close and then I think I'll probably finish up and say goodbye from eight hours ago. So yeah, this is what the foundation looks like right now. So you can kind of see it's oily on my nose. Um, the lights are definitely reflecting somewhat. A um, little bit of that shine going on on my forehead. Remember that this was a semi matte foundation. You guys probably remember that, but 
I forgot because it's eight hours later. So definitely not completely matte anymore. You kind of see that I got that glow going on on my cheeks, but blush is still intact. Let's not kid ourselves. This lip gloss was freshly applied. Um, definitely shiny on my nose. Where am I in focus? There we go. Um, but yeah, if you guys can kind of see underneath my eye, like the makeup just settles into like this crease right here. Yeah, that's all makeup settling and it's kind of settled and separated up on my forehead a little bit. And in these smile lines, you can totally see the lines afterwards. And no, I don't have wrinkles at 19. They're just smile lines. Yeah, I'm just such a happy person that my makeup settles into my smile lines. So I'm gonna go back to normal distance now and say goodbye. So that is it for this video. I hope that you guys liked it and I'll see you next time. Bye.